what is up guys welcome back to another adventure guys where I am at tonight is absolutely unbelievable I've heard stories about this place I'm about four hours away from home and I have yet to see it until now I drove through earlier I was absolutely shocked by it this place is absolutely incredible all right so this is a very, very, very unique town that I am standing in the middle of. Behind me, you see this one-lane bridge headed into a little town called East Calico Rock, Arkansas. It is considered the only town like it in America. We're going to take a walk and we're going to keep talking. But anyway, let me show you what we've got, guys. So, I'm going to go across this old bridge and uh anything a little bit about this place so oh gosh okay so this is considered a true ghost town it is the only ghost town that is within inside a city limit um this town is actually called pepper sauce or east calico <clears throat> this was the old logging community here in northwest Arkansas. It was a boom town. It was thriving. And then once the log industry dropped, it was actually, everybody started moving off. In 1941, was when the state of Arkansas built the two-lane bridge across Calico Creek on Highway 56 and the power plant closed. Um, but as you can see, we're going to come down. This is the street we're on right here. We're fixing to, we just passed the bridge right there. We're going to catch the city jail and we're going to walk down. And uh, I have a real treat for you guys that I found that's right down the street here. That I think you'll like guys this place is creepy at night so I was out here earlier doing some b-roll shots of this place and uh, really really neat I did the full walking tour if you guys are ever out this way be sure to come through do the walking tour and check this place out I mean it's really really awesome I told you guys that we were gonna had some trips set to take already this year but anyway guys so we're pulling up right here to the first building let me show you this okay this is a old feed store it's a purina feed store it's a little muddy it just rained earlier today um so i'll just kind of show you right there this is killian's feed store the bugs are horrible out here tonight um It was owned by Garland and Lois Killian. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I hope you guys are doing all right. I hope you guys are staying healthy and safe. I hope you guys have been staying positive in all these trying times that we've been having. But anyway, guys, so this is the feed store. I don't think it's open. I'm not going to try to go in, of course. Um, I've got some other stuff I'm going to show you that I think you're going to like. Um... The stairs are falling down, so we're not gonna we're not gonna mess with that. But at least wanted to show it to you. Actually, it looks like the window you might can see through. But anyway, guys, so I'm parked right over here. As you can see, this was also later later on. It became part of the cotton plant, also. So anyway, let's walk a little further down. There's a couple of streets out here that I'm going to show you. So I'm not really sure what this is right off. I didn't think there was a sign showing what it was. But it says office. And I don't think I can, can you see anything in there? I don't know if you can see anything. So a real honest guy ghost town. 
How many of you guys have ever actually been to a real ghost town? So there's a huge building. Trees growing up there. It looks like it's just a front wall. It don't look like there's anything inside it. There's no roof on it. I can see right out the top. So everywhere you look, you see there's a there's another building right here. So this would have been the corner store in Batesville Wholesale Grocery. Batesville Wholesale Grocery was this building and Let's see the northwest corner of Caldwell and Walnut and this is Walnut we're on so this would have been it right here on the on the corner of this street right here so the you see there's more buildings lined up over there you see this building it don't have a sign on it I'm not sure what it is Another machine shop, perhaps. This this place is just absolutely, absolutely amazing. It's just it's full of history. I spent this afternoon in the museum studying about the history of Calico and you know Northwest Arkansas, and I had I really learned a lot. The stuff that uh, I didn't already know. Wow, okay, so you see this building. Nothing really much left, just the uh just the upside <clears throat> just the walls. Everything on the inside is gutted. The roof is gone on it as well. Now guys, I'm gonna tell you something. My I could actually just see my breath. The whole Five just changed and I just hit a really really big really big spot I think that was a dog yep there's a dog over there um, guys it's like 87 degrees right now and I can actually see my breath um, so this is the one building that caught my eye in this whole town and it just, it's, I've got like the craziest vibe off this place. So uh, let me show you what this place is. This is the funeral parlor. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but my breath, you can actually, I can actually see my breath right now. Um, so uh, the photos from 1957 so the mortician and his wife lived in the back of this building in the 1920s. Um, her, the husband ran off, but she continued to operate the business for the new owner, Mr. McGuire, in the 50s. Roman and Wilma Howard lived here and ran the business for owner Lawrence Hall. After the mortician embalmed a body, the family would lay out the deceased at home for viewing. A church funeral was followed by a graveside service. The funeral home was also sold wooden caskets lined with brocade. Many people bought prepaid burial policies to cover the embalming in the casket. In the 30s, this building was the office for the Calico Rock Electric Power Ice Company next door. People paid their bills, bought ice, and ordered service from the night up from the 60s up until the 80s, this building was the office for Hayes Brothers Flooring also. Very cool. So, it's it served a number of purposes, guys. But it, like, gives off the creepiest vibe. So, okay, we're not going to, I don't think we're going to go in, guys. It does say no trespassing. You know I am. All about the law, to a degree. <laughs> okay. So, push the door open a little bit. So, what do you think, guys? Spend the night here? What would you do?
So let's just be quiet and listen for a second. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Anybody here? Heard some tap. Guess my heart is like pounding like a hundred times a second. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna walk out here. I'm gonna kind of recoup myself for a second. And you see what it's doing there. So that is, that is actually my buddy riding, watching, uh, <laughs> checking up on me there. So as you can see, the place is really super cool. So I've got my ghost box, guys. Um, and I was considering actually doing a ghost box session, and maybe not, maybe not really go inside there. Yeah, I know, I know, I. But you know, I, I you know, I want to follow the law. I, you know, I want to, I want to do right. I don't want to. I'm not trying to break the law, I'm not trying to go to jail in a town far, far away from home. Okay, so that wasn't my roommate, so anyway, uh, wow. And I'm like only halfway through the town here, East Calico Rock. I'm gonna show you, you're gonna, you've probably seen some of the actual downtown Calico in some of the B shots. Um, it's a beautiful city. Like I said, if you ever get a chance to come over here, guys, you got to go check it out. Um, beautiful place to check out. You got fishing, kayaking, canoeing. It's on the White River. Beautiful place. I had a great time over here. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed getting out. Finally getting out for the first time. Trying to get back into the swing of things. So, anyway guys, let's get this ghost box and uh, let's see what we can do, okay? What is up guys? I hope you enjoyed that footage. Sorry it was a little short. Um, I just wanted to give you guys the vibe that we felt there at nighttime, and I mean the place was awesome Sorry that it wasn't real long But there was so much traffic coming in and out of there that we didn't want to get in there and start having a lot of people stop and ask questions So anyway guys with that being said if you did like it and you want to see us go back there And you want to see us thoroughly investigate it be sure to let us know in the comments down below Also go ahead. You made it this far. Go ahead and leave a like guys also if you're new Hit the subscribe button. Guys, we'll see you on the next adventure. Right there, there's another sign explaining more about it. But this part of it, they used uh, in the front to take payments from, from its citizens. And it was a full service, a full service funeral parlor also. Um, so anyway guys, let's continue on.